Good day, afternoon. Today is Friday, Thursday, the 11th of November. Uh, welcome to the Dead Sink. Um, Mr. Derek, would you like a moment to collect your thoughts? Uh, sure. Well, yeah, I'm going to just go ahead. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, just continue my progress on the mechanical stuff. Kind of got in a groove yesterday and I just picked up where I left off. Um, yeah, no, I, to tell you, like, more of the technical things that I'm working on. So, a lot of what uh, we ended up deciding to fix was um, the preparation for manufacturing for injection molding and so you know Chris uh, you got to put together one with me but you know the, the way the, the thing screws together and, and all that stuff um, it's got to be you know, the orientation changed but it's also got to be prepped for the injection molding process so like there's all kinds of rules like boss screw bosses can only be so deep and they can only um, uh, have a pin, you know, a core so deep and things like that. And, uh, they have to um, have certain distances from the walls of plastic and blah, blah, blah. So it's all like real tedious stuff. Um, but, but I'm getting all, all prepped and, and ready to go. That's been, been my day. So yeah, it's just like once I kind of get into, like really into it, it, it can take take a whole day just fiddling with all those little details and stuff. And there'll be many more days of this. <laughs> As I expected, it will take another uh, couple of weeks really to finish it completely. So that's been my day. Sorry, no, no, um, I, I was hoping to spend some time, um, you know, on Wi-Fi setup and some of the other things, but I don't know. There's just so much to do on this. I just kind of kept going, going on it. So. That's all right. I, I feel like the Wi-Fi setup, like design-wise, is solid, right? We've already built that down. Already. Well, the only thing I think we're missing is a screen between, you know, okay, I've entered my password, and sometimes there's like a minute before you get that connected, that check mark. Oh yeah. You know, so we were thinking about adding a screen in between there to kind of, you know, maybe with like some kind of motion, like a spinner or something, make sure so you don't think we slapped up. Yeah, yeah. There's like, you know, and there's another thing I wanted to ask if we have feedback as to, you know, we don't really tell the user when you've, well, let's see. I have to go back and look through the flow again. But at the moment, we have yeah. no feedback on what's actually going on in the Wi Fi system. So that's been one of the problems. So there was no way for us to know that the person had submitted a password and it was trying to connect. Um, but that's what right. we, that's what we're solving right now. Um, so for that screen, can we just do like basically a replica of the connected screen, um, you know, except connecting and the, the loading spinner instead of the, the tick mark and, you know. Yeah, like, yeah, I was just, I was, I wanted to put a little bit of language around like the, it's, a, you know, it's attempting to connect with your, um, you know, with the, the, that credentials or whatever. Okay. Just, yeah. Just so kind of prompts them to like know that, you know, if there was something wrong there, it's not going to work, you know. Um, of course, then we need to come back and and um, give, them, give them the feedback that you, you know, when you, if, if it doesn't connect, right? That's the, that's the other part. Hmm. Um, so something as simple as just a, a tend to connect to, to, um, to your Wi-Fi network. Cool, cool. But I had this, these sketches for some ideas too on like, you know, one of the things that we, you know, when I talked to Sarah and I've talked to um, Dwayne about, you know, they didn't understand that you're really giving your Wi Fi credentials to Mycroft via your phone by a Wi Fi, you know, via Wi Fi hotspot. They had a mental model that you were actually. The Mycroft was somehow going to connect to the internet through your phone. Now I don't know that we necessarily need to like explain this whole thing, right? That you know, really, you're just handing off some credentials. Hey, Mycroft, stop! Oh, the wiki. Uh, oh, excuse. 
somehow I asked about the film Driven, and but it gave me a nice poster about it. <clears throat> so anyway, but but the idea that uh, you're you're not connecting to the internet through your phone, right? You're just giving your credits, and then it's going to connect on its own. That that really they didn't get that from the setup process. They didn't understand, you know, understand it. Do they need to understand it? I don't know. But I did have some ideas for graphics where you could, you know, show like, you know, the outside internet, like basically three different graphics, uh, your, your, your mobile phone, the micro device, and then the outside internet. And it basically saying, okay, I'm giving you information. You know, there's a big red X through the internet. You're not connected yet. Giving information to the micro device and then disconnect the phone and the Mycroft and then trying to go out to the internet. Something like that. It kind of described what yeah, we're... I, I've seen that a lot in like other, you know, connectivity type apps. It might be more informational than, you know, a, a picture of a phone with some words. <laughs> right. So something like that, I kind of kicked around as some sketches, but it'd be a big kind of departure of where what we've done so far. So I don't know if we need to rewrite it completely. But but yeah, I, I think the way it is now, some people just aren't. Right aren't, now, it's just a timed GUI. There's not a whole lot to rewrite. So. <laughs> yeah, there's well, right. But they're, they're saying is there, there's not a there's not a one to one mental model of what's happening, uh, actually. Um, which, like I said, maybe it's not that that important as long as they actually can just get through it, right? You know, if they get through it and they get their stuff in and it doesn't break, then do they really need to know how it works? I don't know. <laughs> But well, anyway, I, no, I like I like the idea. I think I think the more that we can help people learn about what's going on, the better. Um, yeah, and like it, it works. You know, it adds to the to the privacy aspect as well because it's like, you know, one of the questions we get is like that we got the other day was do does Mycroft collect Wi-Fi credential network credentials, and. Um, and Chris was like, well, yeah, we've got to connect the device to the internet. And I was like, no, 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 what they're asking is because so many companies have done this is do you collect them and store them on Microsoft servers so that we can create some database of Wi-Fi credentials? And like, that's, of course, something that there's no reason for us to do and there's no, yeah, we would never do. Um, but right. like, but we people have that, like, as you said, people have that mental model that this other stuff happens. And if they know that other companies do that, then they might unless we explicitly tell them otherwise, they might assume that we might do the same thing. Right. I think there's a lot of people aren't going to realize that, you know, start.mycroft AI is, is, a, is a hosted on the device. Like it's not a, on a, a website out there, right? I, I, don't, I mean, and, but I don't know, like going that far to explain that, it maybe is too much, but, um, but yeah, no, I think it would it would help. But you know, what's the line? Do we it's just like explain what an access point in and the, the fact that this website's being hosted on the device and all? But I, I I would like to take a stab at it. But it is a bit bit of a bigger project to do that. Yeah, I, I think it's worth taking a stab at because I mean, like you said, I think there might be some confusion there around. You know, I don't know if we need to go into the access point depth, but you know, what's really going on there. I don't know if people, yeah. you know, I mean, it's right now, it, the screens that we have are even because they're phone screens, you know, you've got Android and you've got, you know, <laughs> Windows phone and um, Apple, you know, it's so showing what might be showing up on your phone, you know, may not be the best thing anyway. Um, right. So, yeah, I'm, I think if we just had some sort of, you know, you know, your phone, you know, connecting your device, kind of like a, a little thing going between them, and then maybe your device and the internet, and the thing going between that. And then yeah. when you're done, it's the, it's the big circle of life. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Everyone's okay. getting happy. Well, yeah, I'll give it a shot. See if we can, we can change up a little bit. Um, so yeah, that could be. Okay. Uh, What's that? No, no. I, I started having images in my head of, you know, like, of how it might look. And I was like, don't, don't try and be the, the amateur designer telling the designer, <laughs> to, you know. Well, I, well, whatever ideas you got, shoot, yeah, just shoot them over me on Mattermost. 
I was just, I mean, it was just what Chris was saying, but in my head when he first was saying it, I was looking, thinking about an L shape because like the internet was up here and devices here and phones here, and I thought it would work better as a, a, a line on the on the horizontal screen. But oh shit, yeah, um, yeah. I think there's this there's this thing in diagrams like the internet's always up for some reason. It's in the cloud. It's in the, it's in the cloud. It's up there. It's like, you gotta connect up. And do it. Except the fiber optics are under the ocean. Magic. Floor, so, right, yeah. so um, I don't know where people got the cloud. The cloud is where they got the idea. Okay, I've blabbed enough. Who wants to go next? Chris V. Yep, yeah, I'll go next because I have a harsh topic by 15, but we're far from that. Anyway, um, so today I finished a draft of the. Uh, spec I was working on, I'm going to post it in dev team so everybody can get take a read through it, comment, hack it up, whatever you want to do. Um, Michael's already been through most of it. So um, and it's really, there's no deviation from what we've talked about in Hawaii. It's just taking out one piece of that and putting it, you know, this is like the first phase of what we're going to have to do to get through skill interactions. Um, so instead of having one huge document that had everything in it, we took the one part out and put it in this document. Um, so yeah, that was most of my day and the rest of my day has been, um, looking at uh, the boot up sequence, um, from the standpoint of, um, you know, after we connected to the internet and the Wi-Fi skill and all that stuff's been done, because I think, you know, Ken's taking care of that, you know, how do we, you know, get the pairing skill invoked and where does, where does the pairing skill get invoked right now? It's in the, um, there's some stuff in this, in the skill service that is just kind of weird that it's there. Um, there's a whole class of, of, it's got a bunch of stuff in there that, um, I don't know. So I've, I've been looking at that and seeing if there's a, if there's a smarter way to put, you know, or a better way to say, you know, this is when I need to look for the pairing code and see if the device is paired. So anyway, and then from there it goes on to you know a couple other things. But um, I did already actually uh, comment out that the um, <clears throat> on my device. I comment out that MSM call that goes to the internet and gets all the get stuff, and I cut ten seconds off my boot time just by doing that. Sounds cool. <laughs> That's it. And tomorrow I'll continue with the you know boot up stuff. Mostly because I've booted my device three or four times, and it's not—it's not awesome. Um, from fresh, at least I booted it. Um, the big problem I've seen, and this is repeating, is um, and there's a—I've been adding some stuff to that um, document, the Mark II Steak Startup Sequence document too, as I as I find these things out. But um, first thing that happens almost every time is that <clears throat> the um, the first Wi-Fi screen doesn't show up. Um, and the other thing that happens, it's been happening recently, is you go to the home screen um, and then Wi-Fi is, or the pairing screens don't show up, which is weird. So I'm trying to figure out why that happens too. <clears throat> so anyway, that's, that's me. Mr. Smith. I've just uh, been getting the uh, alarm skill PR ready to go uh, for the JIRA ticket. I say I'm going to have to do a merge because of uh, my system updating behind uh, the scenes, but that's fine. Uh, I spent some time looking at a ticket that I was find regarding the um, requirement to break between the wake word and the utterance and to be able to combine those, if you will, and uh, and that's not going to be a trivial issue. So, looked at that, looked at some code to uh, replace the, uh, the uh, silence detection code. That's working good, but uh, yeah, so that's what I've been working on. I'll get the uh, alarm skill PR in there tomorrow. Um, should I just go ahead and commit it to skill control, or should I do a pull request first off of skill control? Um, I think you can just commit it straight to skill control. It's not, um, 
Yeah, we'll be able right, to. So I'll, yeah, I'll do that. And then uh, first thing in the morning, like around 8.30 my time, I have a meeting with the Panacore. Cool. Uh, we'll go over Christmas documents, so. Is the, the wake word utterance um, split, are you talking about like, you know, knowing when the wake word finished so that we can, you know, get the, get the utterance? And if so, does that have to wait for the for all of no, the skill interaction, you know, stuff that we've been talking about? No, I think I think, uh, I think the ticket spoke more to the fact that you have to say the wait word, wait for the confirmation to speak, and then speak the utterance. And there was a desire to be able to speak the wait word, no delay, and continue right in, right? So if yeah. the wait word was, hey, Jarvis, there's, there's a goal to be able to say, hey, Jarvis, what time it is? What time is it? Versus, hey Jarvis, beep. What time is it? Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. I, I think. I mean, my view is that we have to wait until all of this stuff that, um, you know, we were talking about in Hawaii around the, the services activities and, um, events what? And around the services activities and events. I, I feel like it, it requires that. Like it requires. Yeah, that. I think we need to be focused on the. Uh... Boot up sequence sprint, which is what Michael's expecting right now. Um, well, I'll be meeting with them in the morning. Cool. Uh, all right. Um, and my, I spent a bit of time yesterday um, uh, mapping out a bit of a process for, for you know, for decision, technical decision making, um, you know, uh, which has kind of been you know, I guess just to, like, we have conversations in Mycroft issues and at some point, you know, we kind of decide to move forward with something, maybe, um, but it's not really clear when something's a decision or if, you know, people just continue, like, when people should consider something, you know, done or, um, you know, that they can know that Mycroft's supporting a particular thing and, and therefore, um, uh, run with an idea and, and that sort of thing. So, um, as we talked about yesterday, uh, I just wanted to put a bit of, put a bit of structure around that. So I did a document, um, it looks, you know, a little bit long for, for what you would think would be a nice, easy thing is like, how do we make decisions? But actually there's a whole lot of complexity around that. And, um, I just wanted to make sure that, you know, terms were clearly, clearly described so that we're talking about, um, you know, a proposal and, and what, what do we consider a complete proposal? Um, uh, or, you know, like when you talk about a problem, like, you know, is a problem, I can't like, you know, I, I want to be able to do whatever the hell I want with my device, um, is a, a very open-ended problem that, you know, there's, there's no way to have a solution to that. Right. Um, so if we can kind of, you know, define what a problem is in the context of this decision-making thing, then hopefully that'll help us out down the road. Um, anyway, so the hope is that this can turn into a more structured decision-making process for Mycroft and the community and, and everything. Um, and then the other interest, uh, the other interesting thing was, um, the DuckDuckGo should be ready to go now, so um, I just need to push the remaining changes there, um, and I'll tag someone to review that they're they're not very big. So, uh, and then I'll move on to Wolfram. And I think that's it. Woohoo! Any other? Wait, before Michael shows up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. I'll, uh, I'll read through your document this evening. I, I, I forgot to do that. So I'll, I'll put some commenties in there. Yeah. Well, and I'm going to read through yours. So there you go. Hey, cool. All right. Well, have a good evening, y'all. Yeah. See, will you be around tomorrow or not? Should we expect you tomorrow? Uh, I mean, let's say no. For now, okay. And if I Fair turn enough. up, then yeah. Yeah, if you if you if you show, it's a pleasant surprise. Yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, please. All right. Bye.